On this trip, we leave the campsite and I head down the east coast and passing a place called Wallingford, which is a few miles from my house in England. When I get down to Wellington, I spend a few days relaxing and waiting for the ferry and I go and see the Britain Bike the Museum. As I get on to South Island, I then camp just at the top of the North Island and then I ride the following day, I ride all the way down to a place near Oxford, which is also near my house in England, and then I ride into Christchurch the following day. Now, I'm hopeless at uh, Kiwi place names. And I know that there's a place in Wales, Tin Anglesey, that's like Langfell with these go 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 or something. Um, one of my friends can say it, but I can never say it. Anyway, this place wins it. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to do that, to be honest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> State Highway 2 coming. Um, into Wellington just before uh, Upper Hut. But it's pretty cool. I thought it was just going to be because um, it's just a highway, like State Highway 2. I thought it was going to be a bit dull and boring. But um, yeah, it's really cool. hills. If only every road like fresh off a boat was just straight into twisties like this. <laughs> it's awesome. I know Dover and Calais aren't like this. Off the boat I headed west up the coast to see some of the hills that I could see from the ferry. I then backtracked and went along the east coast and found a really thin gravel road that ran all the way down and was really wiggly. My bike got covered in dust which made me feel a bit more adventurous. Lovely mountainous ranges this morning. It'd be quite um, interesting to see how powerful a 7.8 is because I've never experienced an earthquake at all let alone a big one like that. So this state highway one's been closed for like over a year or so um, in fact google maps and some other map systems that i have on my phone still think it's closed and still want to take you down like the molesworth track or all the way around the other way you just gotta have to go by the road signs old school and it says open the view to get better been lucky with the weather as well it's supposedly like the hottest um, January they've had almost on record or for a very long time. Although State Highway 1's open, I think there's going to be an awful lot of roadworks. I can't imagine an earthquake really, like everything around you just shaking its nuts off. It'd be so weird. Like it's one of those things where you kind of, people that haven't been through a natural disaster kind of want to see what it's like but at the same point go no I don't actually want to be there because it's a natural disaster and it'll be awful 
but then the other part of you is like, yeah, but what's it like? <laughs> it's a weird, weird thing. Flew around a corner and look at this. kilometers an hour isn't a target, 100 kilometers an hour isn't fast either. Right, which patch of road is missing? Is my guess. <laughs> One of them. Give you a chance to stretch your legs while I'm saying. It's quite a bit of a cushy job, isn't it? Sit in a car, have a phone call. Yeah, traffic? Yeah, yeah, it's traffic. Any traffic? You're coming your way? Nah. No, oh, I'll go. I'll open that then. It's taken over a year to do the repairs. Like, all of this um, crash barricade is all brand new. Another big slide. See, it's all starting up there, and then all of this lot. I can't see over it, but this must have come right out. This must have been that section that came all the way down. That's a big slide as well. In fact, they've got containers by the looks of it. Look at that. If I remember rightly, and I might be wrong, but I swear that they said something like New Zealand coast grew by like eight meters. I assume I'm looking at the um, the coast doesn't looks really odd because it's just really big clumpy rocks that I've never seen it before. Um, but they're all like different colours, um, the salt lines and stuff. But uh, nonetheless, it's all different colours. Yeah, there's some big rocks up in it amongst that lot. I don't know whether they've fallen down. they've been pushed up or what? Need to Google about Earth Coast now. This is pretty gnarly. Crap, there's the old road up there. You can see the, the, um, the metal um, barrier. Yeah. Yeah, look, you can see it just sticking out there. No, that's the barrier. I'm waiting for my camera to die now because it's been saying to me low battery in my ear, but I don't dare turn it off. <laughs> Tell you what, I didn't imagine um, the damage and the, the sort of the site to be quite this big. Don't know why, but I didn't. 
I, I see pictures on the I say on the news that when it happened, but you don't get the scared of it until you actually see it in real life. new glass going now after a year or so. All those houses look a bit abandoned. I assume they've got structural damage and not like they live there anymore. I'm not 100% one of them definitely had um, plastic and timber up in the windows. My camera finally died and I made it to Kaikoura. I stopped just outside of it for lunch and carried on down to the campsite near Oxford. The next morning I set off and went to Christchurch. When I arrived I had a look at my rear tyre and I was in desperate need of a new one. So I spent most of the day ringing round and googling where I could find a new one. Later, after I'd done my research, I went out into town and realised there was some sort of festival with buskers everywhere. So I started walking around and watching them and had a nice hot dog along the way. So today I uh, got up and had a lazy sort of morning um, and I did a bit more research on finding some tyres and I called a couple of people and one guy had the tyre, his motorcycle was down under, um, really nice guy, so he, I've got a brand new Mitus EO7 um, which should last a little longer than the 6,000 kilometres that my EO9 lasted um, and he also um, spoke to me about this which is a really helpful chap. So this here, where's the camera? Oh my God, my face. There. It's a bit loose, but it's actually all bolted up and tight. So that's basically Turatec not doing a good enough job. Um, so maybe I should look into that. This is my view. Let's focus it quickly. Um, so I'm going to there, um, which is I think. Acura, I think how you say it. Um, and I'm gonna go all the way on this, um, this road here is the um, summit road. So it runs, well, along the summit and then drops in there. So it's pretty good. Best way of, uh, best way of running in some tires, I reckon. Nice twisty, windy road. Weather's stupidly hot again today. 
Oh, no, it's not. 25 or so, but it's still pretty warm. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to cope with Australia, but we'll find out. Anyway, that's about how my day is going so far. Back to Christchurch tonight. Um, staying in the hostel again uh, for one more night, and then tomorrow I'll set off um, all loaded up and move further south. You can literally see the clouds like being blown over the top. Up in the clouds now. And here you can see the wind is just blowing the, uh, the clouds like straight over the road. It's pretty cool. When I arrived in Akaroa, I took in some sights, chilled with some birds, had some chips, and then headed back to the hostel.